Welcome, you're watching Head to Head. I'm Antonina Antosha with UATV. One World Media DocuDays UA and the British Council in Ukraine invite emerging documentary filmmakers to submit projects to Global Short Docs Forum. It is a new initiative connecting movie directors of documentary shorts with digital platforms. To talk more about the forum, we welcome to the studio Ilya Zabolotny. He is arts manager at British Council Ukraine. Hello and thank you for joining us. Hi, I'm glad to be here. So tell us all about the forum. Well, I would say that uh, even more broader than forum, uh, British Council has a really active and intense, uh, I would say, film autumn. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, and one of our actually new projects is this uh, innovative uh, format of Global Short Docs uh, Forum that will be in March during the docu days. Uh, but in, in a nutshell, uh, this project, uh, what is unique about it, is that for the first time in Ukraine will be an international forum that um, precisely wants to connect emerging filmmakers and cutting-edge uh, video-on-demand platforms, digital platforms and mm -hmm. TV platforms. Because what we see is that in general Ukraine has a lot of stories to actually to tell about the uh, international world, has a lot of talents, and has uh, um, emerging also different platforms, digital and TV, but there is no connection between them. And what we actually do is, to, uh, why we are organizing this forum, is to create, to find actually 16 um, emerging filmmakers around the world mm -hmm. and uh, propose them actually very intensive four days, intensive all day long workshop where they can meet uh, with representatives of Facebook or different platforms and actually understand how to actually connect their dreams, their ideas with actual requirements of these platforms. How many applications do you have so far? Well, it's actually a secret by now because our uh, open call is still open and it's still 23rd of November. So if actually, and it's actually both open to emerging filmmakers and to platforms. Mm. So if actually any platforms are waiting for new stories, mm -hmm. new doc, uh, documentary uh, films, up to 30 minutes, they can also write to us and apply to become part of this uh, process. But actually, we uh, expect quite a lot of applications because mm -hmm. it's a global call. Uh, due to and because of actually uh, support of British Council, we have a, um, actually set up fixed quota of Ukrainian participants, and we also that's also a secret, I presume. Uh, no, that's actually it's open. Yeah, that uh, what we want to do, and actually uh, thanks to actually. Uh, a very good cooperation between DocuDays, our partners, mm -hmm. between, uh, and with One World Media. We're also really glad to have this uh, forum in Ukraine, because it's also very important to mark that it will be second forum, uh, and the first one was in London. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a very good pace how this forum actually steps in, in, in our region. What is the applying procedure for emerging directors and uh, digital platforms? I, I presume it's different. Uh, well, it's actually uh, it's different, but it has a, a big uh, similarity in sense of that it's r relatively uh, quite uh, easily to do. You mm -hmm. do it via online. You mm -hmm. uh, actually apply. You have to apply with quite simple application form when where you actually. Uh, in a sense, in a pitching format, actually explain what is your project is, is about, on what stage is it, is it on early stage of uh, early drafts or it's already mm -hmm, almost shooted mm -hmm. or it's a finished one. And then it all goes actually to One World Media and then we all, uh, as a partners, then we select uh, final participants. So you select, uh, you've mentioned that you would be selecting 16 yeah. final participants. This is from Ukraine or around the world? It's a global, so it's a 16 for everybody uh, from, from the world. Mm -hmm. In this 16, we have a quota of four participants from Ukraine. Mm -hmm. But it actually, it will, all, I mean, it all depends uh, from actual applications. So if by a chance there will be, you know, six or eight very powerful applications from Ukrainian participants, then it will then be Then you're six. willing to make an exception. Uh, uh, well, it's, it's actually, um, we support Ukrainian uh, participants. So that's our aim. And we, we don't aim to do it only Ukrainian mm -hmm. uh, forum. So it's, it's also a very important part of our project that we 
combine we do this networking situation where you know emerging talent from ukraine suddenly sees somebody from tanzania somebody from the uk somebody from i don't know armenia and then they actually understand what is their you know mutual challenges how they can help each other how they can you know communicate how they can transfer information about maybe you know some platform in armenia is really interested in any in some stories from ukraine but they don't know any channels how to actually mm -hmm. communicate how to, to yeah, cooperate. How, yeah so yeah that's you said that the number of participants is a secret uh do you have uh, could you give us any information on which countries are participating uh no number of participants is already fixed so it will be 16. uh number of applications, uh, applications? yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. applications we haven't we actually it's not a secret we actually haven't counted them oh. yeah so, <laughs> so that's, what it is. that's okay. why we actually titled uh, uh, title as a secret but there are a lot of uh a lot of also inquiries questions uh, uh british council we are as uh, operating in a wider re region so we are more or less focused uh, uh, with these countries so it's actually in, like neighboring countries like armenia georgia uh, western balkans uh, but uh, more or less uh, we are interested in in, in a Putin in Ukraine. This uh, like this project, like a global one. Mm -hmm. So for us, as as diverse the picture, the final picture will be, the most uh, the more it will be interesting. Except a guaranteed participation in four day uh, workshops. In four days of workshops, yeah. which are supposed to be very useful for those directors who are going to be chosen yeah. out of many. Uh, are there any guarantees that the directors who are picked to be the ones to participate are um, going to get contracts or get incorporation with different platforms? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to guarantee such, I would say, a dream for all uh, <laughs> participants. But what I can reveal that we will do all that we can. We'll mm -hmm. do our best to actually connect uh their projects and help them actually to pitch their projects to platforms that will uh will be uh, participating in this forum or will or give a contact to another platforms who might be also interested mm -hmm. because it's also um one of the core ideas of uh, that actually in the mission of one world media is actually to create sustainable cooperation between filmmakers and actually a business yeah Such a that, network, yeah, right? yeah yeah it's a network so it's that it's not uh, only like uh, you know some interesting new educational uh, uh, you know project mm -hmm. but something that can create a very sustainable connection uh, where everybody are happy platforms have uh, their content and filmmakers have a, or contracts let's talk about these four days of workshops are there uh, is there any information out there already who is going to conduct those master classes well actually uh, so uh, the directors know what to strive for <laughs> Well, we are now actually compiling fi a final layout because mm -hmm. it's also for one world media. It's uh, in a sense a very good uh, challenge mm -hmm. and uh, a new opportunity that we are doing it in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. So that maybe a new uh, you know variety of platforms might be interested. But for example, during the first edition, it was you know starting from BBC Stories, Zoom in TV, uh, Lush uh, platform, uh, Facebook. Uh, 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 journalism project so it could be actually a huge variety mm -hmm. um, I, I wouldn't want actually to name uh, Ukrainian platforms by now mm -hmm. before we actually finally settle uh, who are in the projects but at the moment I would say that a lot of platforms are really interested for them it's something new and something uh, quite in a good sense unexpected and mm -hmm. intriguing so we will reveal this information very soon let's remind our audience when is the forum going to take place in Kiev uh, forum will take place during the Docu Days uh, Film Festival, mm -hmm. uh, and the forum itself will be from 26 till 30th of March. Mm -hmm. And uh, our deadline for applications that we expect to receive from uh, applicants from Ukraine, from platforms, and from uh, global applicants are till 10 to 23rd of November. Well, thank you so much for coming and telling us this information. Thank you very much. That was Ilya Zabolotny, he is the Arts Manager at British Council of Ukraine. Thank you so much for watching UATV, stay tuned for more.